Throughout the Second World War, there were many people who were executed inside of Nazi prisons. Inside of Plotzensee prison, there was one guillotine which claimed the lives of hundreds of people who went against Hitler's ideas and beliefs, and it was very dangerous to voice opposition about him. There were a number of people who met their end inside of execution chambers across Germany and occupied lands at the hands of the SS and the Gestapo, but some of those who were put to death lived a very quiet life before. One such woman who was executed by the Nazis in Vienna was Maria Restituta Kafka, who was executed by guillotine for simply voicing her opposition against Hitler and saying the Führer was a madman. She was a nun who did not hold back in her criticism, and she saw the persecution which was happening, and she wanted to do something about it. But what is her story? Join us today as we look at the horrific execution of the nun that stood up to Hitler. And to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Maria Restituta Kafka was born Helene Kafka, near to Brno in Austria-Hungary, on the 1st of May 1894. She had a number of siblings and was the sixth daughter of her father, who was a shoemaker. When she was just two years old, her family moved to Vienna, which was the capital of the nation, and she lived in a Czech migrant community made up of fellow Czechs. As a young girl, she then worked as a housemaid, and she also worked in a tobacco shop. Then in 1913, at the age of 19, she became a nurse inside of the municipal hospital in the Lyons neighbourhood of the city. But as she was working as a nurse, she came into contact with members of the Franciscan Sisters of Christian Charity, and she then became a nun and part of their congregation at the age of 20. Helene was then given the religious name Maria Restituta after a 4th century martyr, and she took her vows of the congregation, and then she became a sister. Despite her newfound religious feelings, she then returned to be a nurse in the hospital. But in 1919, following the First World War, she was transferred to a different hospital, and whilst here she became one of the best surgical nurses inside of it. The Merding Hospital, where Maria worked, was affected by the 1938 annexation of Austria, known as the Anschluss. Hitler and the Nazi Party, when they took control of Germany, dominated the politics, and they sought to expand the German territory and empire. Hitler wanted to unite all German-speaking people, and he turned to Austria to take the country under his empire. Before the Anschluss, there was support for unification between Austria and Germany, and following the breakup of the Habsburg monarchy, Austria was considered a broken country, which was suffering from economic crisis. Some hoped that Germany could save it, but others did oppose unification. But Hitler would impose his regime on Austria, and a rigged ballot, in which it was said 99.7% of people supported the unification with Nazi Germany and Austria, got Hitler what he wanted, and he annexed the country into his empire. But as mentioned, there were many people who opposed Hitler and his ideas, and Maria was very outspoken in her opposition. The Nazis had instigated and implemented the Nuremberg Laws in Austria, a series of anti-Semitic laws and regulations that limited the freedoms of the Jews. Jews were prevented from marrying, from visiting cinemas, sitting on specific park benches, and they even had to wear a Star of David on their clothes. These persecuting laws aimed to bring segregation to the Jews and also turn people against them, but Maria spoke out against these. When Hitler took control of Austria, she called Hitler a madman, and she said that as an inhabitant of Vienna, she cannot keep her mouth shut and must speak out. A new hospital wing was created where she worked, and Kafka hung a crucifix in every room of the new building, and with this the Nazis were furious. This was against what they wanted, and they ordered that the crosses should be taken down, and Maria was threatened with losing her job. But ultimately she refused to take them down, and she won this debate against the Nazis, as the crucifixes were not removed, and she was also not sacked from her job, and the hospital said she was too valuable and that they could not lose her. But as time went on, Maria continued her vocal opposition to the Nazi government, and this continued for years, even during the Second World War. She would be shouted down and verbally attacked by pro-Nazi doctors, and some found her words slanderous and offensive. But ultimately she was giving her opinion against an evil regime, which at the time was slaughtering and executing millions of people, in a war of aggression that brought the world to its knees. She could not support Hitler and the Nazis, 
but on Ash Wednesday 1942, or the 18th of February, while she was coming out of an operating theatre following a procedure, Maria Restituta was arrested by the Gestapo. She was accused of not just hanging crucifixes in the hospital, but she was also accused of reciting and writing a poem that mocked Hitler and the Nazis. Following a short trial, she was sentenced to death for her actions by the People's Court in Vienna, as it was said she favoured the enemy and committed conspiracy to commit high treason. She was offered a deal by the Nazis that if she would have accepted, she would have been spared. They offered her to live and to be released from prison if she left the convent she was part of, but she refused to do this. There were some requests for clemency on her behalf, and one even reached the desk of Martin Bormann, the head of the Nazi party chancellery. But he looked unfavourably on Maria, and he said that her execution would be an effective intimidation method for others who wanted to resist, and that she should be made an example of. Maria spent her final few days in prison and behind bars, and it was said that she cared for other prisoners and helped them. She wrote a letter during her imprisonment which said, It does not matter how far we are separated from everything, no matter what is taken from us. The faith that we carry in our hearts is something no one can take from us. In this way we build an altar in our own hearts. She was held on death row and in the condemned cells for over a year, whilst the Nazis considered if she would reconsider her options, but on the 30th of May 1943, she was executed. Inside the Vienna Regional Court, she was taken into the execution chamber, and at the age of 48 was handed over to the executioner. The executioner's assistant took hold of her, and strapped her to a board, and quickly she was slid under the guillotine's blade. Within seconds of entering the chamber, she was lying under the blade, then the executioner took her life, releasing it, and she was beheaded. Maria Restituta Kafka was a nurse and nun who tried her best to defy the Nazis and Hitler in any way that she could. She tried to rally others against the Nazi cause, but ultimately she was seen as a traitor, and because of this she was sentenced to death. She had numerous chances to live and to evade her death sentence if she would have left the convent she was part of but she was a woman of her word and of strong conviction, to the point where she went to the guillotine as she refused to backtrack on her beliefs. She is today considered a forgotten victim of the Second World War, and she is a nun whose brilliance was in her defiance. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.